Hi everybody. Um, hello. Um, this is LMCC week six, and this is the beginning of the week. It's only Tuesday, but yesterday felt, it was a Monday, but it felt like a Sunday. In that, you know, when you have plans on Sunday and you spend your whole Sunday, like, doing a bunch of stuff, um, and then it, I don't know, and then can feel like you need a, another Sunday or something. But, um, yeah, I'm here. I wish I had filmed when it was a little bit brighter outside, a little bit sunnier. Um, because I like, I like when the videos have, like, a bunch of the light coming in from the windows because it's such a beautiful view. Um, but that's okay. I feel like, did I have to? So I was just dancing in the, uh, studio spaces, in the dance studios. Um, I can show you a picture of how beautiful they are. They're just... They're such incredible studios. They're so big and I accidentally, like, touched one of the mirrors and I thought it was going to fall on me. Ultimately, it did not. And I can't tell. They don't seem like they're, like, particularly heavy mirrors. So I think I would survive. Um, and the view is... So incredible. It's so beautiful there. Um, so, I like... I don't know, I have a couple of things that I want to get done. Um, I have to like email, do a couple emails back, and um, I already danced, and kind of already filming a new video. I, I wrote it down. It's not like, it's not like my, I'm not trying to film every time necessarily, but um, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel. I don't know, uh, but I'm going to film, and I've been working on, I just, I just finally started yesterday working on a new video game in Unity, and um, it was a bit of like a speed bump, speed uh, learning curve, <laughs> because, um, I don't know, I, I hadn't opened Visual Studio Code in a, in a long while, so it took me a second to just kind of like get everything booted up and like re-learn everything. Um, but so far, all the game is, is, I mean, I want it to be really simple, so it's just black. It's just, like, completely black background with a red light, although I want to add, like, a blue and pink light as well. And it's just shining on, I can actually show you, and it's just kind of, like, shining from the top on this bat, on this kind of, like, eerie-looking clawfoot bathtub. And, um, as of now, there's just this one little player... That, where you can like kind of circle around the bathtub um, and I haven't given like a shape to the player yet but I think I mean, maybe the player will be a fish a fish, a 3D model of a fish I'm not sure yet but I can show you just this like video It over. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know if you could see all of it, but it's just this like player can like circle around the bathtub. I love it so far. I think it, I, so far I'm like super happy with how it like just the, that beginning. And I, I think the game like the next step would be adding kind of some kind of like splashy water to the bathtub. Um, it would be interesting to like have it continuously be splashing around, even with no one in there or something. I don't know, I'm kind of just figuring that out. Figuring out, like, the complexities, the, like, possible complexities of the game. I think it would be interesting to be able to play it with a controller, too. Um, but it might take me a while to sort of build it up. And that's been kind of like a secret, it's been kind of like a secret project. Um, so I haven't really been telling anyone at LMCC about that particular project, um, and it's been kind of like a secret project, but I am, um, oh my god, yeah, I got kind of like sweaty when I was dancing in there, I was trying to find, it was hard for me to kind of like start, because I wasn't finding 
the right music that was inspiring me to dance in the space, and then I landed on very much internet music, and that was what felt the most natural to dance to. I was also kind of looking at like music that I've listened to in the past that I've listened to during like stressful times or times when I maybe wasn't in the right place and trying to, I don't know, sort of maybe like rethink how I feel about that music or something. Um, and I was just texting somebody that I've been worried, I mean for a long time, that incorporating dance into my practice is like cringe or embarrassing. But I guess I just have to think through all of that. Um, over the weekend, over the weekend, um, a lot of my makeup just fell on the floor and spilled everywhere, including the one that I use every day. So I have, I, they only had like this mini one available at the store. Um, so I got that and um, some K18 for my hair too. Um, I guess, I don't know. There are times where I feel like it will just all fall off. I'm like, I'm scared to wash it sometimes because it can feel so gummy. Oh my gosh, it actually got really quiet in here just now. Um, so yeah, those are, those are my updates. Um, I think I'm gonna come here most days this week to work on stuff. And um, oh, I also I'm not. strange ethical consideration if he's one of your favorite writers and he is one of my favorite writers of all time so I'm like and I've also said when he died I can still remember being in Spanish class <laughs> and, and all, yeah my professor and I were just like so incredibly sad that he passed um, but I'm gonna read it anyway I think it's an indulgence and uh need that I cannot resist. Sorry. It's about, it's about, um, it's about a woman in a happy marriage for 27 years. And, um, and there's like not necessarily a reason for her to want to cheat on him, but, but she does. She goes to an island every, um, she goes to an island where her mom is buried once a year, I think, and, or, yeah, every August, she goes there once a year, um, and, like, cheats on her husband, um, so that honestly sounds incredible, sounds like an incredible read, I love the premise, so thank you, um, so those are all my updates, week six, beginning of week six, Okay.